Great Awakening Brewing over in uh, Westfield is holding a comedy show, a big fat comedy show. I, I, I'm convinced Chris Zito gets more airtime here than he does <laughs> on his actual radio. Well, show. more people hear about him here yeah. than they do over there. And it's uh, it's going to be me, uh, Chris Zito, this uh, other comedian, uh, John Turco, and uh, and a guy who's on the phone with us right now, uh, Gary Marino. Gary, how are you? Hey, how you doing, pal? Good. I'm here with my co-host Mike Baxendale. How you doing, Gary? Hey. Facts. How you doing? I'm terrific. Well, so, I know Steve thought I was sleeping, and in fact, I have been up. Well, we we <laughs> called you once, and you nobody. It went right to voicemail, and I'm like, eh, this guy told me uh, he was doing it at this time, and we were going to do this, and now he's not answering the phone. What the hell is going on out here? I was. I apologize. I was on another call. Uh, I saw her come in, and I just said to her, "I said, oh, I got to call you back." <laughs> well, you know, the, the, but, and there's also the time zone change between Boston and Western Mass. I'm sure you're quite aware of it. Oh, there's no question. No, those those listen. Those four hours kill you. You call it mornings. I call it after hours, boy. <laughs> <laughs> so you uh, you're actually you actually you're not from Western Mass, but you married a Westfield girl, right? Well, yeah, I'm from Boston. I'm actually from Medford, just north of Boston. Our Italian section, where the guys don't speak English or Italian, it's kind of their own thing. <laughs> but refreshingly, I have to say, uh, thirty something years ago, I did marry a Westfield girl, and spent a lot of time out there. You know, I had two sets of in-laws. You understand? Yeah. Which you know. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, Western Mass wasn't always crazy about you, but now I'm doing shows out there. Love you. Well, what, what was the, what was the problem back then about, about the Western Mass? Was it the the drive, or was it just the just the way we are? Nothing wrong with you guys. I just think <laughs> in laws in laws are in laws. <laughs> I can I can no, see where no, that can suck the same. I have two sets. Of, I had two sets of in laws. One I loved, one not so crazy about. So it was always a little bit of a drag going out there, but. Now that they're no longer my in-laws, I got to tell you, but love your Western Mass. Did, did I hear you? <laughs> did I hear you're getting a divorce though? I am, in fact, yeah, a lot of yeah, just uh, just going through that now. A lot of fun. That's usually how most of... Westfield marriages end, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to argue with you, buddy. There's, there's you something know, about but, uh... the there's something about the Whip City that just uh, doesn't sit right with people, and after a while, they say, "That's it. I'm done." <laughs> Here's what I think happens. Here's what I think happens. I think they grow up out there, and like you said, it's 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 its own thing. Mm -hmm. In the case of my wife, she moved. She she fled, moved to the big city in 1989. Normalized, met me. Normalized. I'm going to take credit for that. Normalized. And now I think she's reverting back to the Western Mass girl. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I, I think a lot of people, Gary, and I, I think this is true. Once you get off the Mass Pike. And you get on that that off ramp in Westfield. I think there are many people who believe that that ride from the 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 Pike to downtown Westfield is a trail of broken dreams. You can you can. <laughs> it it was for me when I lived in Westfield for a while, and I know that for many they feel the very same way. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to argue with you there. <laughs> that said, did I mention I love it out there now? Yeah. I love doing shows out there now. Great audiences, sweet people, and and they're they're the perfect comedy audiences. You're overworked, you're underpaid, you're undersexed, you're you're <laughs> mentally broken. You're perfect for a comedy show. And we're all and a uh, perfect recipe for a great marriage. <laughs> overworked, underpaid, right? You know, guys, it was for me for a lot of years. Yeah, I'm yeah. I, I, I was lucky enough to be with a rock solid sweetie for a lot of years, and now it's uh, it's uh, wrapping up as they do. Where was it written? Gary Marino is any better than any of you sixty percent divorced people out there? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, boys. Sixty percent of the country is headed for the is, is divorced. Of the forty percent that remain married, who are we kidding? Most of them should be divorced. Well, I know fifty percent of my divorce of my marriages ended in the same way. So I kind of understand the math you're talking about here. <laughs> What's funny is now people are saying to me, "Well, yeah, you're looking good. You're losing weight. Are you taking the shot? Are you taking Manjaro? Are you taking the shot of Wagovi?" I go, "No, I'm taking shots from a divorce attorney." <laughs> Yeah, that's enough to make you not want to eat for a while. <laughs> you lose your appetite yeah. for a lot of things. 
I thank her. I, uh, I've been looking to push the in a button boys and get back into shape, and uh, I thank her for uh, pushing the in a button. I really do. <laughs> no. You, you, yeah, let me tell you something. Gary 3.0 is coming out this, this new year, and he's going to be better than Gary 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hope so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 2.0 was good, but he didn't stick around, and yeah. he kind of, you know, the uh, he didn't stick around long enough, unfortunately. It was like any technical thing, you know, there were glitches. Now, you, you are coming to, uh, to Westfield. You're coming to the Great Awakening Brewing Company on the, uh, on the let's see, it's the 23rd. You're, you're there with 23rd. the... You're there with Steve, so you know that's gonna that's gonna be good. But then somehow, and I don't know how these things happen. I assume it's just you know a, a booking issue or whatever it is. Chris Zito made the uh, the, the <laughs> made the bill too. I, I don't know how that works. I hope you guys can work through all that. I have to tell you, full disclosure, it's Zito's show, and he wanted Steve. Big fan, big fan. I don't what? know if you know, I don't know if the other radio station wants me to say that, but big fan, Steve. Well, he gave me the lineup. He's going to go first, and then I'm going to come on because I usually back clean up anyway around here. <laughs> I'm looking forward to, to working with you, Steve. I know we were supposed to work together last summer, and it didn't pan out, but I'm looking forward to sharing the stage with you, and uh, we'll serve it up large, brother. Yeah, that's, that, that, that's actually a pretty nice brewery over there, and uh, they, they, got, they got some good entertainment going on at that place. Oh my God! You could park the space shuttle in that brewery. Have you ever seen? It is one huge uh, um, venue, and it's beautiful. And, and we've done, we did New Year's there last year, and uh, and a couple of shows since. And it's it's a great people to work with. The food is really good, of course. All the beer and spirits is great, and uh, it's just going to be a great night. Listen, we all need to laugh. It's the holidays, boys, right? Yeah, we do, but can we kind of like get rid of the Zito guy? I don't know if we if we really need him. Well, I mean, it, it, we, we kind of we listen. It, we're it, we're using him as a pawn to, listen, to drum up uh, business for the show. If, if Zito goes first, now Gary, follow me. Follow me. That you've been a comedian long enough. If Zito goes goes first, by the time Steve goes on, they will have forgotten all about Chris Zito. No question. Yeah, no, no question. Actually, here's the lineup. Zito goes first. He's the host. He's not headlining. Then it goes, I think, me, Steve. Then you get to follow me, which will be easy. And then we have a great headliner from Boston, John Turco, who's hysterical. Oh, yeah. As a matter of fact, I know John. He's John a was, good, good guy. John actually headlines my Valentine's show earlier this year called Love is That <laughs> Crazy. And it was a, uh, it was an entire, it was an entire lineup of divorcees. That um, had to be hilarious. I, at the time, I wasn't going through the divorce, so I wrote a whole bunch of stuff about my wife I had planned to do until her friends bought tickets, and I had to jettison the whole goddamn act. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I can't imagine uh, why you're getting divorced. I mean, it's, it's, it blows my mind. Uh, I'm not a, sure. a divorced woman's best friends with a cell phone and video. That can, it can only end badly in court. You know what? As I, as I, as I told my wife, you know, I'm a, I'm a comedian. I'm also a musician. And I told her, you know, I told you loving the music, man, ain't all it was supposed to be, honey. What can I tell you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gary Marino is going to be at uh, the Great Awakening Brewing on the 23rd along with Steve and uh, some other folks, too. Gary, it's great to talk to you. Best of luck, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much, guys. Hey, Steve, one quick question. Six inches. Are you going to wear Are you going to wear your World Gone Crazy t-shirt? Uh, I don't have a World Gone Crazy t-shirt. Can I get uh, a World Gone Crazy t-shirt? Could have sworn in the post that you were wearing a World Gone Crazy t-shirt. Yes, because somebody uh, photoshopped out Rock 102. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? There's some managers here that are none too happy about that. <laughs> hey, I was told, I was told what, you know, what I had to do. Blame Zito when you see him. Oh, but, absolutely. You know what? We, al we always do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you guys are a lot of fun. Thanks for having me on. And, and uh, Western Mass, I love you. Coming out to see you soon. Sounds good. Gary Marino with Bax and Nagel on Rock 102.